Electric garb. That's where you can sell the garb. It's not a bad rune farm to begin with. certain that I got Millicent. Yes. Here she is. Yay. So we miss seeing her with the dagger in this run, but... Hello, Millicent. That's a nice sword. Sadly, she doesn't respond if you wave to her or anything. Which would have been nice. And she's here to help you kill this guy. Take him, she absolutely can't. I'm gonna fight just the two of us though, because yeah. Take his butt. Go Melissa. Finish up. Oh, that was to get the kill. <laughs> Good job. Hi, Millicent. I'm pretty sure if I rest here, I'll be able to find her. And she'll talk about it. There she is. Hello. Ah, we meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle again, should you ever have the need. Yep. I would have you call upon me in battle. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. Just happy little feel good dialogue. It's worth noting, I'm pretty sure once she has the arm, you can just kill her and get the best artifact from her, but I need to say I'm not doing that. Oi, you're not allowed to be happy. Only Millicent's allowed to be happy. For now. Eh, still no weapon. I'm not really eager to farm it. It gives you more runes, that's basically it. Anything you kill with it gives you more runes. I feel like it was double runes, but... I might be thinking of something else. So, question is, 
What do we do now? Why not progress the autos? By which... Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I might be dead wrong. Uh... I totally know. Now it's worth noting, this is uh, actually the character I was going to be when we were doing our normal NPC run. The, so the original Lord run, I was going to choose her. Because, well, you know me in those theme runs. Wearing armor is the enemy. Hmm. Long time. Seems we're fated to keep crossing paths. Now, we find ourselves at a festival of combat. Pitted against Radan. Once the strongest of the demigods. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. A path forged by sword and fang. Now these are say if you pledge to Rani, then that's basically why he's here. Because he is keeping oh, Radan is keeping a star in the sky. And we need that star to come crashing down. Nothing to do but wait until the festival begins. Lionel is it's not Kira. He is Okina, and of course, y'all recognize this guy. Do I remember his name? No. <laughs> Jarbro. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself to think. I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth. But, be sure to. Okay, die. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> Yeah, we need to progress his quest in order to progress the Atlas's quest. Now, full disclosure, I was actually trying to get Elden Rattan working for this. I couldn't figure it out. Same with how I was going to use the special Ronnie set in the Ronnie run, but I couldn't get mods working with seamless multiplayer. Which I'm doing all this on, just because why not? Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Note that would have been a nightmare. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. Leonard. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions, the rebels begin. The celebration of war. The Radan Festival. 
You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. Now, of course, if you remember, that there is where we fought the boss duo. You can say with all the NPCs there, that boss fight now does not exist. So, if you missed it, tough luck, buddy. Mitting stone, just in case you're not up to snuff. Can't open door. This is also yet another popular place to get invaded. They always just use those stupid stealth items and just hide in distance down here. It's annoying, but you can just use the warp gate. I think they... Can you or do they deactivate the warp gate? Nah, I think they deactivate the warp gate actually. It's a pain. I always did some multiplayer, so I can't remember. Go, nerds! made it a point to fight him before they did the nerf. He was so much stronger back then. Which is partially why I wanted to get the Elden Radon working. Because that would have been epic. It was like three phases super boss. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-nine. Yes, I'm beaming. No, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I like to just swarm this guy. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that move. Okay, okay. Maybe I should stop. Okay, now here's the part where you could just instantly die. Where are you coming from? Oh. And I dodged too slowly, or too early. <laughs> yes, I'm leaving that in. I will say that is the one part of this fight that I don't like. Everything else about it is an absolute masterpiece. Correct thing to do is to get on Torrent, but... Hmm. That's interesting. I don't think my B key is actually... Okay, it might just be me having the feeling off. Yeah, 
Yeah. I think what's happening to me right now is I'm too used to playing Code Vein right now. Yes, this is a fight that was very much designed to torn to mine. I don't honestly like that, because I like the multiplayer aspect. Alright, I'm gonna go get the early. Not the early, because, ow. Okay, screw you, you were not on me until then. He was just paying attention for when I turned my back. Oh, damn. Summon him again. <laughs> yes, I'm still maiming. I told you I wouldn't stop. <laughs> eh, that's not a summoning sign. You lied to me. You have no feet. Yeah, spin around. It won't regrow your feet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why did I think those would disappear? <laughs> uh, hey. I was thoroughly not there at the end. <laughs> uh, that was great. on my thumbnail yet. It's not going to be that one. <laughs> That's what's just blinding. Now the question. Will I be fighting Estelle? Right now the answer is probably not. What a sick way to fight, eh, mate? The glory of the class is shared. By Radan and you. And then a falling star. Right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend. If ever I saw one. Thank you. Cool. 
Now here's the thing, he's gonna say something which doesn't really make sense considering I mean you saw him tanking those. Ah oh, hello there. Um it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I... I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. Yeah, I think this is only the seamless multiplayer kind of broke, because you saw me be able to summon him a second time. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Mm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait. When next we meet. <laughs> Ironically, Alexander kind of has one of the quote unquote happiest endings in this whole freaking game. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you know what it is, you know what it is. Now the thing not too many people know about. There is a secret dungeon way over here somewhere. We will find it eventually. No, I'm not going to do that in this episode. I'll probably be calling it... I'll call it a recording session once I get there. Because, like I said, I don't want to get too far ahead in this. But, I mean, hey. Question of the uh, session. Do you want me to fight Estelle? Just put it in the comments. Yes, Estelle. No, Estelle. Because heck knows it's going to be a while. Because i got to go through all of Nokron. I don't mind doing it. As you know, I'm not doing the Ronnie quest this time around. So there's not really a point. But that doesn't mean I can't do it just for the heck of it. So, yeah. If anyone wants me to do it, put it in the comments. Because why not? If anyone wants me not to do it, put that in the comments too. I'm already leaning towards no, so if people don't want me to do it, then obviously I'm not going to do it. But it's not like I'm against it. It's just, you've seen that before. Totally not lost, by the way, you're lost. Yes, I'm lost. Why I opened a map expecting to see me somewhere, I don't know. Honestly, I would not blame you if you clicked off the video right now. Because this space is just going to be me a couple minutes running around looking for the dungeon. Which I might not ever find. Okay, yeah. I'll probably call the episode... Well, 
I'll do one more look. Never mind. I was about to say I'll call the episode here and just start in the dungeon next time. I really do want to show where it is. Oh, by the way, yes, in case you're wondering, once you aggro it on, you can lead him back here, go up a ledge, and then just make him fall off and die to fall damage. That is still a thing. Needless to say, I was not planning on doing that, considering you literally just watched the fight. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it. I don't see any reason not to. But it just makes for bad content, in my opinion. Especially now with the weekend we're done. Yep. Personally, I love playing games which have a bunch of summonings like that. Well, I wish that they had more bosses where you just could keep summoning things. Just have them running like lemmings. I find that entertaining to no end. I think that's the dungeon right there. I just didn't go far enough. Oops. Dead catacombs. Now, I will show one more thing, and that is just going to be the celebrant stuff. Specifically, I'm going to go to this one here. It actually does not say anything on it. Oh, whoops. There you can see at the bottom. Grants trace amount of runes on landing attacks. So every time you hit something, you get a little bit of runes. Good for leveling up at a low level, but it's really not much. So I don't really care about it. But anyways, that is where I am going to call it. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.